Hello everybody, my name is um, Somia Nassim. I'm the Policy and Strategy Manager at Energy and Utility Skills. I'm going to present to you a short summary of the autumn statement looking specifically at energy and utility related uh, announcements and anything related to skills. So some of the crucial um, points made in the uh, autumn statement yesterday um, were that um, government is no longer seeking to um, gain a budget surplus in 2019-20 and this will be shifted over to the next parliament. Going forward and the government is concentrating on infrastructure and infrastructure is at the heart of the economic strategy and this autumn statement. In order um, for infrastructure development um, the government has announced the National Productivity Investment Fund. This is 20 million pounds of um, funds to be spent on innovation and infrastructure over the next five years. In addition, the government has also announced um, additional LEP funding uh, for local authorities. For energy and utilities, over the next 15 years, more than £100 billion of private investment is expected in the UK, and this was outlined in the autumn statement. Overall, in the autumn statement, there was very little um, on skills, uh, development and education, uh, although the um, Chancellor did um, outline that the forthcoming industrial strategy will address skills shortages and challenges going forward. And finally, um, the, the Chancellor announced the abolishing of the autumn statement. I'm going to just go into some of these uh, crucial points into it a little bit more detail um, just to give you a little more background and some of the key messages that came out of the autumn statement. So in terms of um, the autumn statement, it was primarily um, around productivity, investing in infrastructure and innovation to improve long-term productivity. In order to do this, £23 billion has been um, added, additional spending via the new National Productivity Investment Fund. In addition, two billion of that will go towards research and development funding per year by 2020-21. Also, there will be um, local LEP funding of, of 1.8 billion across England through a third round of growth deals. This local funding um, will be primarily around transport, um, housing, uh, to boost skills and digital connectivity. Um, in terms of energy and utility skills, the economic infrastructure was described by the government as the heart of the economic strategy. In that, energy, water and waste management feature and are crucial um, for this infrastructure development. As mentioned, over the next 15 years, there will be over, 50, over 100 billion pounds of investment expected in the UK's energy sector. And this money will be devoted to new cleaner generating capacity, upgrading, upgrading the smarter energy system and developing new resources such as shale. There was very little um, in the autumn statement on skills and um, or education, although the Chancellor did mention that he's thriving for a high wage and high skilled economy. But there was very little on actual skills development in the autumn statement and there was very little mention of apprenticeships or vocational education. Grammar schools were mentioned, there will be investment in grammar school and also there will be additional investment in management skills of around £13 billion. Um, primarily this has come out from recommendations made by the Maynard Review which looked at um, areas, to, areas that would improve productivity and management skills came out as, as top. Going forward, um, skills issues and challenges related to infrastructure will be dealt in the, in the industrial strategy and um, LEP funding has already been allocated to boost skills. So the productivity and industrial strategy, raising productivity is a key area of focus for the forthcoming industrial strategy. The government's approach to raising productivity has been clearly set out in their productivity plan, which is based on encouraging long-term investment in economic capital, such as technology, infrastructure, and skills. 
also creating a dynamic economy which ensures resources are put to their best use. The industrial strategy um, will set out a broader framework for government and businesses to work together and this will particularly look at the skills issue. In the autumn statement, there was very little detail on the uh, industrial strategy, but earlier on this week, uh, Theresa May at the CBI conference made a speech on the industrial strategy, uh, which outlined that the industrial strategy green paper will come out um, before the end of the year and the white paper will uh, be published in early 2017. Um, the focus on supporting um, technology industry and enabling startups was a key focus of um, Theresa May's speech um, around the industrial strategy. And Theresa May also identified the weakness in STEM subjects and the technical education, which she outlined would be addressed in the forthcoming industrial strategy. In terms of um, the post pre exit world, um, Theresa May was quite confident that um, the UK would be attracted to investors and named a whole range of companies that are already um, investing in, in the UK and the creation of jobs. Um, unfortunately, energy and utility sectors didn't feature here. So other crucial points made in the autumn statement, um, the government and the chancellor um, outlined that the role of the national infrastructure uh, will continue as a, and is an important role in terms of advising them and, give, and setting out independent recommendations to them on long-term infrastructure investment. The Infrastructure and Authority for Projects Authority review is taking place at the moment and this review has primarily been set up to identify ways of government um, to work with industry to improve quality, cost and improve performance of UK infrastructure. Uh, this review is taking place currently and is due to report in summer 2017. One of the key announcements made by the Chancellor yesterday was the record high of 74.5% uh, rising employment rate, which um, the um, Chancellor uh, stated would continue um, through uh, the next couple of years. And finally, the um, Chancellor made um, uh, announced or made a statement uh, outlining that uh, future um, autumn statements would not happen and the autumn statement would be replaced by the actual budget and we would see a spring statement from 2018. So in summary, the autumn statement primarily focused um, around raise, raising productivity, infrastructure development, and outlined the areas that the forthcoming industrial strategy will deal with. Um, our work around uh, the new workforce renewal, renewal and skill strategy, which is due to be launched next year, um, has identified the skills and workforce requirements needed to deliver these infrastructure projects. And we will ensure and work with HM uh, Treasury and MES to ensure that these skills requirements are taken into account in future productivity and industrial strategies going forward. That's um, everything that was in the statement um, around um, energy and utility and skills. There's further information um, on the website. There's a link there. Please do have a look um, at um, the, the documents. There's some relevant documents there. If you need any further information, please do contact us and we'll try and help you with that. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.